So you're telling me if I just say I want to build a complex make.com automation, give it the instructions and press enter, it'll then create the entire AI agent workflow. And so now we just built this entire agent and it's telling me the step-by-step -step installation. And so if I just download this as a JSON and I open up make.com and I click create a new scenario and I just import the exact file that we just downloaded from Claude, what will this look like? All right, so check your schedule, automation, open. Let's see what we got. Holy What's going on guys? It's your boy Kev. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys the new workflow that'll teach you how to build high level AI agents 1000 times faster than ever before in make or N8N. And we're going to be doing this by using the new Claude 4 Opus, which is the best coding language model on the entire planet. And what's absolutely crazy about this opportunity is that it's going to allow the AI beginners to skill up faster than ever before. Because previously, when we had to build AI automation workflows, we had to think about and plan out how each step actually works. We had to then go find all of the tools that would actually be used in the workflow. But now just by using Claude Opus 4, it creates the entire workflow automation so that you can work on it from that step forward. And that is a massive time saver. If we were to go back to November of 2024, I remember manually spending days building certain automation flows. And if I had this in my hands, those would have been hours instead of days. In this video, guys, we're just going to break down exactly how this workflow works, how we can set up Claude to fully understand the N8N and make docs so that it actually understands how to create scenarios at a very high level. And then once we do that, guys, we're going to go and build an AI automation together using Claude 4. We're then going to open it up in make.com and we're going to bring it to life. And this is going to show you guys how it's a game changer for everyone in the AI agency space and how I'm using it to grow the agency even faster. Because if you guys have been a part of this channel, if you guys have been a part of my no-code account, Academy, one of the things that I pride myself on is the flow of ideas that I've been generating just from all the knowledge that I've been consuming in the AI world. And now with Claude, I can just put my ideas into a prompt and see if we can build workflows from there. And so my iteration process or my development process as an AI agency owner is going to rapidly accelerate and the developers that are under me on my team are also going to be able to work faster and better. So overall, the agency business model just leveled up in a way that I actually can't even believe. Let's get into this breakdown. So the first thing we're going to do guys is set up Claude with make and N8N developer docs. And so what that means is we're actually going to have to head over to the make.com developer tools. So I'm just going to type in make.com developer docs. And so here we go inside of the make API documentation, and it's going to have all of these different breakdowns of how we can actually build apps. It'll teach us how we can add modules. It'll teach us how we can add different iterators, flow iterators, array aggregators, all of these different things and we then copy all of this information on the screen and we put it into a Google Docs. And so here I have my make.com complete docs and this is 27 pages worth of all of the relevant information that the Claude 4 Opus model would need. And then I downloaded this file and then I went back to Claude. And so now if we open up Claude, we can go to this plus sign and we can upload that same file. And so in this case here, we're gonna go and grab that Google Docs, which is right here and we're gonna open that baby up. Now we're gonna switch the model from Claude 4 Sonnet to Claude 4 Opus, which has more reasoning, can actually think a little bit longer. And when we're developing complex automations, this is something that we'll definitely need. Now, what we're gonna do next, guys, is actually give it the prompt for this first automation build. We're going to build a social media content scheduler flow, which allows the users to upload to a Google Drive, and then it automatically uploads that piece of content to YouTube, TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And so that's what I'm gonna prompt the agent now. I'm gonna say, um, I want to build a make.com automation in JSON format. This automation lets the user upload video files to a Google Drive as the trigger. And then it funnels the content to the social media platforms so that the user can save tons of time every day uploading 
content to social media. And we're just gonna let Opus cook. And once it creates that file, guys, we're gonna see where we're starting out at. And then you and I are literally just gonna build out this automation together. And so we don't need anything that's paid for this flow. We just need to get the API keys for the social platforms. And we need to get the Google Drive API key access. All of those are mini tutorials in the Academy as well, because setting up Google Drive API access is a little bit of annoying. But so while that's cooking, guys, what this workflow has allowed me to do is build an agent I didn't even think was possible. And this is gonna be coming in a future episode called the AI Security Guard Agent. And that's because we actually built the automation using this cloud for Opus method and it found some tools that I didn't even know existed. And so there's like these smart camera tools that are within make.com that we can actually use to relay that footage to our AI model so that it actually watch over the stores and make sure that, you know, everything's safe. So that's going to be absolutely game changing for all, you know, retail and brick or mortar um, businesses as well. Okay, awesome. So it just finished up building it out. It also gave us the key features and the explanation. But what we're going to do is we're just, again, we're going to download that JSON and we're going to head over to make. All right, guys. So now if we go into make, we go into create a new scenario. We're going to choose file. We're going to find the automation that says social media automation, save and bang. Oh my goodness. So this may not look good to you guys, but I'm going to explain exactly what is going on here because this is even better than what I was hoping for. Because if we go inside of each module, the title of the module, the JSON that the JSON file has is the module that we're looking for. And so even though all of these have the exclamation points, it actually built out the exact workflow that we need because like this router, for example, allows one piece of data to be sent to all of the different uh, routes at the same time. And so that's what's needed to actually upload to all social platforms at the same time as well. And so we literally can now just listen to everything that it says in the steps. And so the first step here is Google Drive watch files, right? And so we could see here, if we zoom in for you guys to see, it says Google Drive watch files. And so I'm literally just gonna open this up. We're gonna go Google Drive. We're gonna open up Google Drive and watch all files. And so what this allows us to do as a learner is definitely accelerate what we understand because it literally tells us where to find these modules. And so for the next time, your brain's already going to make that connection. And so let's bang all of these out really quick. So watch all files. Then the next step would be get a file. So right here, we're going to go get a share link. So we're going to click that get shared link. We'll move on. The next one is downloading that file from the shared link. So right here, download a file. And then it routes into all of the different steps. We'll start from top to bottom. So here in the YouTube module, we have upload video. So we can literally again, write YouTube, upload a video, boom. Next one, Facebook, Facebook, create a post. So we'll go Facebook. I'm pretty sure that's under uh, Facebook pages and create a post. Now, Facebook even has more options than that. So when we go to Facebook pages. We can see that we could create a post, but we can also publish a reel. And so this, this automated flow could also be for short form content specifically. So Instagram reels, YouTube shorts, Facebook reels, TikTok, Twitter, LinkedIn. And then another automated flow could be for long form videos. And another automated flow could be for text based videos text-based posts. And this is how I, ideally your mind will start to think as the agent builds out these flows for you. And so like in this case, let's say we're doing it as reels or short form videos. And so Facebook would then be, you know, published as a reel. We can go to Twitter. Yeah. Create a, create a tweet slash post. Boom. Next one, Instagram, bang Instagram for business. And there should be a reels option here as well. Create a reel post. Perfect. Next one, LinkedIn. So this one is going to be LinkedIn video based content, right? And so here we have creates a user text post, creates a user image post, creates a user video post. And so that's the one that we want here. And so right now it actually didn't build out the extension for the TikTok. So what we can do here is just click that router button and that allows us to just add another step. So we can go here, TikTok. And I think actually TikTok doesn't have a create a post module. And so that's why it didn't build it out for us. So it's not even an issue. So what's next? We have the array aggregator. So after all of these posts have been made, this array aggregator will fire off next to a basically just check off and put into the database that these posts have been uploaded, right? And so we would select all of these different posts. We would choose the source module that would be coming from the router. And click save. 
And so now they have a nice connection between the two. And after that, it can send an email update that says, you know, these posts have been done. So we're going to go send an email. And then last but not least, we're going to add all of this information to a database. And so in this use case, it's putting the information into the Google Sheets database, which is totally fine, especially when we're first learning. But eventually we can have all of this mapped to the Neon database, which is on Replit, so that all of these automations and agents that we're building can be shown in a beautiful UI on Replit. And that's what people are really paying for. So if I really, really quickly just hop into Replit to show you what I'm talking about and we open up my no code academy agent stack you'll see exactly what i mean so this is the cutting edge of the ai agency world where you can build these automations now with claude for opus and you can just literally build out exactly how it says to right so it tells you all the modules that you want to add and then once the modules are officially added and your api keys are added you can start testing the automation now let's say this was the state that the automation was in and i was running into some errors well then i would literally save the automation as is and I would go into the three dots and I would export the blueprint because not only can these AI models write these JSON files for us, but they can also understand the JSON files. And so even in your debugging or in your error, error processes or error debugging, you're going to be able to conversate with these agents to help you understand and learn how to actually get over the hurdle the next time that you see it. I can show you a quick example of how that looks. I don't know what the agent's gonna say, but we're gonna just paste it in here and I'm gonna say, Okay, I added the import you wanted me to. This is what the automation currently looks like, right? And let's say I didn't know what was next, I would, like what to do next. I could literally just ask it, like, what would you recommend I do next? I have not set up my connections to all these modules and I need help to know what to do next. Cool, and we just paste that in and see what it says. And so look at this response, guys. It says, looking at your current automation, I can see you've imported the basic structure, but the modules aren't configured yet. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to configure them. And here it basically explains how to add the authorizing step for the Google Drive and how to select the files that you want and the reasonable limit, right? So these are all the things that you learn as you go. But to get set up, this is the greatest workflow and if you're new to the game right now, you should consider yourselves lucky because everyone that came before you had to grind and struggle to figure this stuff out, meaning you're not as far behind as you think you are because you can literally learn how to develop really high level stuff right now. And it should only take you a couple of days per automation when you have something like Claude for Opus. And so now that you guys have that un, like deep understanding of how you should be building your agents moving forward and using Claude to actually build it out for you and then going from there, now I can show you guys a little bit of a teaser of where this thing should be going when you really start understanding how to build these agents. And once they're starting to get built and start working and producing results, then you wanna map it into a front-end dashboard like here on Replit where imagine this was a client. Now this is my own agent dashboard, but if I was showing this to a client, Imagine how impressed they would be to see that we have an Instagram lead agent that is sending 75 messages every single day to warm leads. We have a LinkedIn outreach agent that's making connections every single day on LinkedIn on behalf. We have a newsletter analytics agent that tells you the performance of your newsletter on how it's growing week over week and how people are opening it um, depending on the different campaigns that we're running. And then we also have a cold email B2B agent that sends brand new emails to brand new potential leads for our AI agency and so on and so forth. Like the SEO writing, the SEO article writing agent produces high level SEO written blog posts for any business so that their website becomes really searchable on different search engines. So like Perplexity search engine, ChatGPT search engine, Google search engine, Gemini search engine, all of these search engines need to be uh, SEO optimized for you to actually rank. So like if someone were to type, what are the best AI agency communities in the world? Ideally, the No Code Academy should be up there after a couple of months of running the SEO article agent. But with all that being said, guys, moving forward, this is the workflow. And so I just wanted to show it to you guys. There's going to be a ton of different announcements in the Academy. We're building so many agents in real time time right now. We just built a Facebook marketplace agent. And so all of these different things are all going to be given to you guys in the Academy for free. But now when it comes to implementing these things or implementing brand new ideas, this is the workflow that I will be doing. And it is already proving to be the best workflow for AI agencies. And I just wanted to explain it to you guys. So it's your boy, Kev. See you guys in the next one. It's all love.